Hello, I'm Greg Zanis, and along with my sons Chris and Gregory Zanis, we're the inventors of DreamCar123.com. In front of me here, you'll see our very first prototype model. It's a scale model, one quarter scale, made out of plywood, plaster, foil tape, and titanium wheels. We built this model several years ago so we could get size and form down to what we were planning to build. Later on, we found out that this model had a couple of problems and we built the second model here. This model is built out of bubble Kevlar, foil aluminum tape, plexiglass, and plastic, and of course rubber wheels. At one point we had, this was our first up and running model. We had an RC car inside of this. It was a very, very fast car. And it offered everything we wanted in the design. It had a much, much higher bumper. It had the place figured out where the person would fit. Then we built this third model, which is, of course, again, one quarter scale. And it shows a person sitting inside of it. It also shows refined all the compartments where the batteries eventually will go in the real car. This car also is a solar proposal model. All the inside is covered with solar panels and all of the underneath of all of the solar panels are compartments where we have batteries. This car also is very much to scale. You can see how it opens up just like the real car opens up. And it shows all the battery compartments all underneath here. This car also won first place in Hobby Town, USA. Th that shows where the 15 batteries would go underneath the one section. And this shows, of course, where the wheels would be hiding at later on. These solar panels would also eventually cover the wheels. Behind me here, let me put the solar panels back in and just show how that would actually work. Behind me here is the tunnel that we've been talking about quite a bit. Inside of the tunnel, you'll see we have a robot car. You've seen this car before on other videos. The tunnel car is made to go extremely fast. We've been talking about a car that will go 200 miles an hour. This is where the car would go 200 miles an hour at. If, if you see the tunnel car, you'll see that it has wheels on the side right here. So we've, we've incorporated four wheels on the sides here and here, also along with, of course, the wheels on the bottom. The real car will have a solid steel bottom, very much like this car. It also is robotic, so you can see it operating here a little bit. What it's doing is it's rubbing up against the sides here. And you can go any speed you want. It can be you can go just like a rifle. Just down the tunnel 200 miles an hour if you want. When it's in the tunnel, it will also have two electrodes that will be sticking up on each side here. And if you could look, uh, look at this painting here, it's the tunnel car before we built it. And it shows Gregory driving the car with two electrodes up. It shows the two wheels on the ground and it shows the two wheels on the sides of the car. This also shows the two laser pointers on top. It shows Gregory inside the car. It shows the two headlights and of course Susanna's license plate. It also shows the entire compartment being lit up from the inside and also the, the tunnel and the car show that the person inside of the tunnel will have a full view of 
where he's going all the way around him. You'll be traveling so fast that you won't see the sidebars on this car. This tunnel system would go from cities to cities. For example, if you were to go from Chicago to St. Louis, 350 miles, you should be able to make that in two hours flat and a little less. And I'm Greg Zanis. Thank you very much.